I'm holding in my hand one of the best balanced outfits if you're going fly fishing for bass. Now, we've talked about bass and what they eat and different techniques to catch them. When you're looking at an outfit and trying to balance it correctly, don't start with the fish, start with what the fish eats. And bass are really fun because, well, they'll eat just about anything. Some bigger flies, topwater poppers, things like that. So when you're choosing uh, an outfit that's going to deliver those flies, really where we start first is the fly line. When you're casting a fly rod, we're actually using the fly line to deliver the goods, the lure, the fly. And so as the fly size goes up in weight or wind resistance, we just need to make sure we have enough line, mass. So when the fly goes up in size or weight or wind resistance, we just have to make sure that the fly line we have has enough mass to deliver the goods and the right taper to kick those bugs over. This line right here is an aggressive weight forward floating fly line. I won't bore you with too many details, but the bottom line is this. It delivers uh, bass flies just with, with such ease and elegance. It makes casting and fishing really fun when you're throwing flies. Flies, for example, I've got a big ugly, uh, Oh, like an olive bunny leech on here with big lead eyes. Try to cast that on a trout rod. It's gonna be a lot of work. Do it on this balanced outfit. Life's gonna be simple and fun. Next, let's talk about the rod. A rod is just a rod for the most part when you're looking at a big rack of fly rods. What's important to know about this rod is it's designed specifically to cast this bass fly line and the bugs that go along with it. The first thing that's probably most unique is its length. Most fly rods are around nine feet or so. This rod is seven foot, 11 inches. Why? Well, if you're actually gonna enter yourself in a bass tournament, no rod can be longer than eight feet. So we had to keep that cool. But what we found with a seven foot, 11 inch fly rod is it really allows you to accurately cast your fly, rapid fire from the boat or the canoe or from the bank, really work the, uh, the pockets and the structure really well. What's also fun about shortening the rod is the way that rod balances out better for you. It just feels really, really good in the hand. As far as the graphite, of course we choose the best material out there, but that's nothing new. There's a lot of really nice rods out there that use the same graphite material. Our rod's specific to bass. Keep that in mind. The component packages that we put on the rod are perfect as far as the anodized uh, machine reel seat. It's gonna put up with a ton of abuse. We added a fighting butt so when you do hook a big pig, you can leverage them up against your, your belly or your waist um, during a big fight. When you're casting for bass all day, you need a nice, comfortable, high quality cork grip and you're looking at one right here. It feels great in the hand. And then the extras on a rod like this I think are kind of fun and important. The finish on this rod, we call it snake belly. You can feel kind of the spiral still left um, on, on the rod. We don't sand them down. By leaving the spiral, you have a stronger, more resilient rod. When you're sanding rods, sometimes you can weaken them a little bit. Where rods join together, those are called ferrules. And even during a day of just bass casting, you can get a little ferrule creep where the two pieces kind of start to move around on you. And our ferrules aren't sanded or waxed. They have a good grip factor to them, so when you put the pieces together, they really stay put. And this is a four-piece rod, so it stores easily under the truck seat or in the backpack, whatever you might want to use. And uh, it's there and it's ready. You're driving home from work one day and you see a pond and you want to do some bass fishing. It's a nice little rod, just pull it out and go, go fishing. That's pretty much the rod. You put this line with the rod and you have velvet accurate casts, really fun. Let's talk about the reel. There's lots of nice reels on the market today, and every fly reel just stores fly line, that is a fact. But the reel I'm holding here is fun and super functional. It's fully machined from solid bar stock aluminum, making it a really strong reel for a long life of hard use and abuse. As far as the drag system in it, it's old school. It's click and pull. When you're bass fishing, although bass pull hard, they don't run long. In our opinion, you don't need a fancy seal drag system. We can save you some money there and still give you a great quality. And there's plenty of capacity for the larger bass line that we put together in this kit and the extra backing should a bass run longer than the fly line. You bake it all together and not only is the reel the right size for the line and the backing, but it's also exactly the right weight to perfectly balance the outfit. Rod, reel, and line comfortable, casting, accurate, efficient. Those are all really great words when you're describing an outfit of quality. This is it. It is the red truck diesel bass outfit. You just can't go wrong with it. 
So if you're looking to get into bass fishing responsibly, I highly recommend you take us up on our offer. If you're not satisfied, you can always send it back to us. Chances are after the first couple casts and the first couple bass, this one's going, going home and staying home with you. You got any questions, need help bass fishing, uh, you give us a call, you live chat us, you shoot us an email, we're here to help you. Thanks a bunch for watching and best of luck bass fishing out there.